Director of Communication for the Electricity Company of Ghana, William Boatin, has stated that the company is preparing to go after those who use electricity illegally. He emphasized that all other issues resulting in electricity theft and commercial losses for the company will be addressed in the revenue mobilization process. In an interview with the Daily Graphic, Mr. Boatin noted that the implementation of the ECG digital dashboard has assisted them in identifying households that pay for the electricity they use. He stated that the exercise was backed by the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission and will be undertaken all year long. Egypt's president, Abdel Fattah LCC, met with British Petroleum CEO Murray Ochenklos on the sidelines of the Egypt Petroleum Show, where he praised British Petroleum's activities, their investment in Egypt, and exploration projects in the oil and gas sector. He also emphasized Egypt's commitment to facilitating the operation of international companies and the private sector in energy production and trade. British Petroleum CEO Ochenklos praised Egypt's balanced approach to developing the energy sector and transitioning to clean energy. He confirmed British Petroleum's keenness to boost investments in Egypt's oil and gas exploration. The meeting was attended by Prime Minister Dr. Mustafa Madbouli, Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources Tarek El Mula, and British Petroleum's Regional President, Middle East and North Africa, Mr. Nader Zaki. The European Commission has authorized a 4 billion euro German state assistance program to help companies in their process of decarbonizing their production. The scheme's initiatives will vary from the installation of melting tanks for glass manufacturing using electricity to the replacement of existing steel production methods with direct reduction hydrogen-powered plants. The aid will take form variable yearly payout under two-way contracts for difference known as climate protection contracts with a 15-year term. The EU competition enforcer stated the measure contributes to achieving Germany's climate and energy targets as well as the EU's strategic objectives of the European Green Deal. Visit EnergyGhanaMagazine.com for more on these stories. Energy Brief is proudly brought to you by Airport View Hotel. Energy Ghana TV, local in focus, global in perspective.